The Northern Lights, scientifically known as the Aurora Borealis, are one of the most beautiful shows the atmosphere can put on. Let's dive into how the Northern Lights form. Charged protons and electrons are emitted from the sun during solar flares and coronal mass ejections. Solar flares are explosions on the Earth's surface. Coronal mass ejections are gas bubbles expelled by the sun. Solar wind blows the protons and electrons towards the Earth, then the particles follow Earth's magnetic field and enter the atmosphere through the North and South Poles, sparking a geomagnetic storm. The charged particles collide with atmospheric molecules, specifically oxygen and nitrogen. The charged particles collide with atmospheric molecules, specifically oxygen and nitrogen. These collisions cause the atmospheric molecules to release energy, producing the vibrant colors associated with auroras. The colors displayed depend on the height of the collisions and which molecules were struck. Pink auroras occur below 100 kilometers when the charged solar particles hit nitrogen molecules. Green auroras shine when the particles collide with oxygen molecules from 100 kilometers to 200 kilometers and up. Blue auroras beam at the same height as green auroras, but appear when solar particles strike nitrogen molecules. Red auroras are rarer and dance above 200 kilometers when oxygen molecules clash with numerous solar electrons. For 13 News Now, I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson.